Dear students, today we will discuss about assignment statement. And the assignment statement is the most basic imperative statement written in imperative paradigm in, is the assignment statement and which request that you want to assign a particular value to a variable. So for example, in some of the previous module, we defined an integer data type like marks in C++. So when you write this statement, this means that in the RAM, there is a memory location somewhere which is called marks. And then if you assign marks is assigned by 10, so this 10 will be stored in the location that is being referenced by the marks variable. So it is very simple. You need to write this equal sign in C++ to assign the variable. And you should not read this equal sign as equal as we normally call it in the mathematics. So it is not marks equal to 10. You should say marks is assigned by 10. So this means that 10 value is being stored at the memory location which is being referenced by the variable name marks. So let's do it programmatically. So like we have int price and if we assign price is assigned by 10 and we have learned about C out statement that printouts the values whatever we have asked so we have put price in the C out statement this means whatever the value of price is at the moment so you should display it so let's try to run this program and let's see what is being displayed so the output is 10 so after this output if I change price is assigned by 1000 so what does it mean that first we assigned 10 to the memory location that was pointed out and referenced by price variable and we see out this variable so this will be shown as 10 however afterwards the next instruction is price is assigned by 1000 so this mean that the previous value of price variable that was 10 that will be uh, replaced by the new value of 1000 in the RAM. So the memory location referenced by the price variable which was previously 10 is now holding the very value of 1000. So if now you write C out statement so it will show 1000 after 10. So it is showing 10 and 1000. So let's put something over here. New value of price is 10. And let's say old value of price is So if you want to output whatever you have written, so you should enclose it into the double quotes. So when double quotes are written in the CO statement, so this statement will be printed as it is on the screen, old value of price is, and then you have written the price variable. So this price variable, the value will be shown. So let's see what is shown on the screen. So old value of price is 10, new value of price is 1000. So this is basically the assignment statement that assigns a value to the variable whatever you have written. So in assignment 
statement there could, there are number of assignment statements in different languages for example one of the assignment statement which we have learned in today's module was this one the equal sign normally in the mathematics however some of the languages follow this statement colon and then equal sign to distinguish that this is an assignment and then they use equal to say that this is a equality so if we summarize today's module we have learned about assignment statement and we have practiced with example online and offline to show that how assignment statement works in programming language